Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to do the shading project. Uh, basically, it's just abstract breaking the picture plane into various shapes and then shading those shapes in a unified way. Uh, if you have no idea what I said, just follow along and you know we'll get there. I'm using a Prismacolor Ebony. It's just kind of like a jet black, but you need to use a number two wooden pencil. If you're going to use a mechanical pencil, that's going to take you much, much longer, and you have to have a softer touch in order to kind of build up, be more delicate, if you will. Um, pretty much all we are going to be using is this broad side of the tip. You're not going to be using the, the actual straight down tip very much. Uh, you'll be kind of holding the pencil like this towards the end and you'll be shading just by wiggling your finger fingers just a little bit. Getting as much as that pencil lead on the paper as you possibly can. So to start out you're just drawing a series of lines. There's no rhyme or reason to those lines. The only qualifications or the only restrictions are don't intersect the lines too much because you want pretty much all similar shape sizes. They don't have to be similar shapes, but you want all of the shapes to be about the same size. So uh, just start by drawing lines. It doesn't matter how those lines are. You could even just do straight up and down rectangles. Yep. Don't worry about it. We're not worried about being too picky here. The key is, is just making sure that all these shapes, when all said and done, end up about the same size, give or take. You're just trying to break the plane up, the picture plane, up evenly. So if you notice these areas that kind of have bigger gaps, I'm just starting to fill them in. Uh, I think I want one more thing here. And just to kind of balance this out, let's do an oblong one here. All right, so that's kind of the way that you want to break up the shapes. Um, I'm going to show you how to kind of start shading these and then I'm going to time lapse the video forward until the finish. This should take you about two class periods to do. Um, all in all, 30 to 40 minutes is what you should be spending on this. Um, if you're doing it a little bit faster and it looks great, hey, cool, more power to you. But chances are, um, if you're doing it faster, it's not going to look great. The key is is a steady buildup. Um, you don't necessarily have to go slow, but you have to be controlled with where you're building this up. What I'm choosing is I'm choosing to go from the inside to the outside, light to dark. So the insides of my shapes are going to be the paper itself. The outsides of the shapes are going basically where all these lines are, that's where those shadows are going to start being. So it's going to get darker and darker around these lines to where those are going to be the darkest places on my page. And like I said, it's just a slow buildup. You don't want to go too fast. You can always get darker, but you, it's harder to get lighter whenever it comes down to this. Meaning um, erasing takes more skill than putting on the lead. And like I said, it's just a smooth, even buildup. I don't care how fast you go, just be conscious of where you're going. Um, and if you also notice, like I'm changing the pencil angle. So I'm going in multiple different directions. Uh, I'll come back and get that a little bit darker later, but that's, that's a good start. So I'm just going to kind of move on to all my lines. And it's going to be, you know, dark on both sides of it, so it doesn't necessarily matter if I'm 
right on that line, coloring within the lines, as long as I'm pretty close to that line, because I'll refine it just a little bit more towards the end. So I'll tell you what, I'll slow it down towards the end just to kind of recap. And I'm just going to keep working on this because all I'm doing is just like dark outsides, light insides. And eventually that line is just going to get darker and darker. Keep in mind like the way that I'm holding my pencil, all I'm doing is just changing the angle. So it should even be pretty flat with the paper. There's not much of a gap, like I could just stick my finger in between the table and about halfway through my pencil, about three inches away. Make sense? Cool. Otherwise, I'm using my three fingers and kind of just starting to get a more refined point. I'm not pressing hard. All I'm doing is just barely dragging it over the paper. Notice that line gets real nice and dark. Everything else starts fading into the color of the paper.
So roughly about 40 minutes and have something that should start looking like this. And this is perfectly fine in order to turn in. You can uh, go back and actually fold up a piece of paper and start trying to blend just a little bit. And probably won't do too much at this point, but if you're ever going to blend, use a piece of paper, not your finger. Fingers have oil on it. That oil gets on the paper and you just kind of you want to keep it material but paper um yeah till the next video